Hey everybody, my name is Anna, AKA Glitter and Lasers. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello. Today, we are someplace that you guys have wanted to see for a long time, which is my closet. And the reason we are in my closet today is because, um, honestly, I'm running out of space. I have too much stuff and I need to purge. <laughs> like I need to get rid of stuff. Um, ambitiously, I originally thought this video would be trying on everything I own, but the reality is, is that video would probably be six hours long, and I don't think any of you have that level of attention span, nor do I have the endurance to create that video today. So instead, what we're gonna do is kind of break this down into a manageable chunk, and I'm gonna show you how I go through all of my dresses and decide what to keep. Now I have a goal in mind. I wanna get rid of 50% of my dresses and there's a lot of reasons why. A, I'm gonna provide clothing to people that need it. The reality is, is that plus size clothing is the least available in shelters and I have direct relationships with a lot of different foster and community centers here in Austin that I can help create magic for the women who need it. Second, it creates space for me for new and more exciting things that I can show you. And third, it's better than just keeping it and never it being worn, right? Like if you have a pretty dress, somebody should wear it and feel fabulous in it. And that's what we're gonna make sure happens today. So in order to do that, I need to try everything on. Now I'll be honest here, I'm a little bit of a hoarder because I always, I always have giveaway regret. And I don't know if any of you guys have experienced this before, but it's when you donate something and then you remember about it when you're putting together a look and you're like, oh, if only I had X still. But I do believe that this is an important part of allowing your style to evolve and helping others in my case. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna cut all of my dresses in half. Now you can see some of the dresses behind me. I have this chunk here, this chunk here. There's another chunk back here. There is another chunk over there. And there is a chunk that lives in my beauty room. There's also a stack of dresses in the closet that you can't see behind the camera, which is stuff that honestly does not fit me, is too short. But for some reason, I haven't found the like ability to get rid of. So today you're gonna join me in that. Now I have a kind of a plan. I have a game plan on how I'm gonna do this. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I've divided it into four categories. We're gonna look at fan wear, which is what I have here. Some casual like sundresses, everyday dresses that I wear pretty much every day. My kind of special event formal dresses and then my like super black tie formal, like fancy, fancy, someone needs to buy me a $300 meal to wear it type dress. And the reason I've divided it into categories is because otherwise I would only end up with like sparkly gowns because that's what I wanna keep, but I need to think about what's like actually realistic for me to wear. So we're gonna take all of this out, we're gonna move it into the living room, and I'm just gonna try everything on and make some decisions and you guys will see how I purge my closet and we'll have a whole lot of fun playing dress up. So let's do it. Watch me under the light. So keep me in your sight. Cause I can do this all night. You can call it what you want. I got something else in mind. Oh, if it's you I've been waiting for, I better make you worth my time. Okay, so this is my closet of secrets and I feel like every person has a closet like this and I say person because John told me he does this too but this is where you keep all the things that just don't quite fit right and you somehow delusionally believe that like your body's gonna change just enough for that piece to suddenly look good it's never gonna happen and it doesn't matter how confident you are in your body somehow we all do this <laughs> so let's let's open up my shame let's let's open up we'll start with the top Okay, so this is all Disney stuff, so this, this isn't so bad. Um, whoa. These three dresses are either, no. There's five dresses. Okay, this one, this one I have to try on because I, I'm gonna try this one on, but these four dresses can go. So we got four down, four already done. Okay, so now, now we get to the dangerous part and I'm like 90% certain when I open this door, it's all just gonna, well, let's just see. Okay, okay, it is holding. Nope, see, there we go. Let's just let's just pull it all out. Oh my gosh. It's just so much stuff that I don't wear and don't need. I don't even know why I've kept it. Like this is, I I didn't even know I had this dress, so. So that's five. Another one, 
doesn't fit, but like, look how cool it is. It'd be awesome if it did fit, but it doesn't. Six, another insanely cool dress that just doesn't fit me right. I have a hard time parting with this because I like it. Like I like it so much and you just don't see dresses like this, but I can't wear it, so. Okay, I think that's all for the dresses that I have saved in here. The rest of this, it's future Anna's problem. <laughs> so we just gonna, we just gonna throw it all in here <laughs> to deal with it later. It never happened. Go. So now that we've cleared this baby off, this is where I'm gonna put all the dresses I'm keeping. The other dresses I'm not keeping, I'm gonna put back on the couch. We'll deal with them later. Uh, I have this little tally sheet where I'm gonna keep track of how many dresses I have because I don't trust myself to remember it. And we're gonna try to get to half of whatever this number is that I keep. So now I just gotta try all of it on. So from the front, it's a keep, but from the back, yeah, we're gonna donate this one. This I'm gonna keep. Keep. I have to keep this one, I have to. This is gonna shock some people, but I'm not gonna keep this dress. It sits in my closet and I never wear it and I have no special memory attached to it, so somebody else can find joy in it. It's a keep. I love this dress, but it's way too short and it personally attacked my hair while I was putting it on, so it's time we part ways. I bought this for an underwater photo shoot that never happened. And I'm having a hard time parting with it because I still wanna do that someday. So I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I bought this dress in two colors and guess what? I'm donating both of them. It's way too big in the chest. I look like a clown. Of, co of course I'm donating this. The shame. I swore I was gonna keep this one, but I've lost weight in my chest and now it's weird. So donate. The ladies are escaping. It's a donate. Donate. Don't love it. Donate. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> what the fuck did I buy this for? <laughs> donate. <laughs> donate. <laughs> you will have to pry this dress from my cold, dead hands. This dress was custom made for me by Dolce & Gabbana. So I will never, ever, 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 ever give it up. And it's one of two, and I'm gonna show you the second one now. I mean, come on. Come on, tell me I don't look stunning. Oh, keep. Okay, I'm torn because this would make a great Frenchy grease costume for Halloween, and I haven't done that yet. But I don't really use it otherwise, so I'm gonna keep it for now donate i literally just bought this but i'm gonna donate it because it's it's real short donate i absolutely adore this dress it's a keep how could i say no to this dress i'm gonna keep it it's easy it could be a swim cover up keeping it okay this is way too tight in the boobs i love this dress but someone else is gonna look well, at least be more comfortable in it than me. So we're gonna, we're gonna donate this one. I'm leaving it in his pockets. I just got it. Of course I'm keeping it. This color is like baby vomit. Why did I even buy this? Donate. Keep. Tall girl problems. Donate. Like I would give this dress up <laughs> as if. It's gonna be magic for somebody else. I'm gonna donate this. Groovy, baby. Keep. Keep. Y'all gonna think I'm a prude, but these bananas have boobies and it makes me uncomfortable. So as much as I love the dress, I, I don't wear it that often because I'm uncomfortable because ugh, the little bananas have boobs. I'm not kidding. They have boobs. Boobs. Banana boobs. Keep. Puppies. It's, it's covered in puppies. I've had this forever and it's one of my favorites, so I'm keeping it. Keep. Like, did my boobs grow? My boobs must have grown. What the hell? That's a no. You're gonna be surprised to hear me say this because I usually hate white dresses, but I'm keeping this one. Yes, mama, yes. Keep. 
keep. Keep. Oh, I'm keeping this. Mine. Uh, I think this is a keep. I have to keep this. I'll never find anything else like it. Um, donate. Um, I'm keeping this. I just love the way it fits and it's so cute. It's too short and it's too hot, so donating. It's just a little bit too short. Mm. Donating it. It's a little bit short, but I think I can do something with it for Halloween, so I'm gonna keep it. This is like my favorite Disney dress for my favorite park, so I'm keeping it. I mean, this is just Disney basics. I gotta keep this. I mean, obviously. Honestly, this is one of my go-to dresses, so there is no way I'm getting rid of this one. Okay, this is gonna be a hard one to believe, but I'm gonna let this one go. And the only reason is it's just so hard to tie it in the back. And really, I'm splitting hairs now because <laughs> I haven't gotten rid of many things. I mean, how could I not keep this? I don't need this. I, I can give this up. So literally every time I wear this dress, it goes viral. So of course I'm not gonna give it up. Um, it's got too much power. This dress has too much power. So much static cling. Um, beautiful dress, but I don't need it anymore. And I swear some girl is gonna look fire wearing this to prom. Okay, obviously alone, I'm not gonna wear it that way, but I love it as a layering piece, so I'm keeping it. Keep. I'm in a debate because I want to keep it because it's so different, but also I don't like wear it that often, but <sighs> I'm going to keep it. Okay, I really do like this dress, but I don't have a need for it, and it's not something I would wear every day, so I am going to donate it. I love, love, love this dress, but it's just a little bit too big, so I'm going to donate it. Okay, so this dress is from Mary Mecco, and Mary Mecco is my favorite designer, but they don't make plus, which sucks. And this dress they made oversized and it just happened to work for me. So I will never get rid of it because it might be the only Mary Mecco dress I ever get to own. This dress is gonna make somebody else very happy. I'm donating it. I should donate it, but I don't keep it. So funny story, I keep this dress in my closet just in case I ever have to go back to like a traditional job that I'll have something to interview in. And you know what? I'm probably never gonna go back to a traditional job, so it's time I get rid of this dress. So I'm gonna donate it, and I guess that means you're gonna be stuck with me making content for a while. This is like literally my dream dress, so of course I'm keeping it. It's orange, it's got a cool print, and it has pockets. This is my newest dress. You guys haven't even seen it yet, and duh, I'm keeping it. She's fabulous. It's Barbie inspired. <laughs> which I don't really do at all, but it's cute. This is the last thing I have to try on. And as you can see, I'm not trying it on because I, I just can't be bothered. I can't, I'm done. I don't wanna put anything else on. I've tried way too many things on today and I'm done. This can go to a new home with someone who wants to put it on because I don't want him. <laughs> I don't want him. Okay, so I've hung up everything that I'm keeping and let's see how many items we have because I'm only allowed to have 40. Um, so we might, we might, I don't want to, but we might have to cut this down a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I did way better than I thought I would do. I still feel like there's stuff in here that I just don't need to keep. And like, like looking at it all, it just, this is more than I need. So let's make some decisions. I don't need two pink dresses. I can keep one. Okay, this is, this is the pink dress we're keeping. I feel like to keep this just for a Halloween costume when this could make some girl feel really pretty at homecoming, I'm, I'm gonna donate this. It's like easier for me to give stuff away when I like mentally think of the person wearing it on the other end. It helps me realize like, Will I feel as good as that person would wearing it? And if not, I probably should get rid of it, right? Okay, so, so I know myself. I want to find a white dress and this fits and looks great on me, but will I actually wear it? Probably not. And I love this dress, it's beautiful, it's soft, but again, I just don't need it. 
Um, okay, I can give this black dress away. This will make someone feel very beautiful. It would be great for like an interview or a first date, or I don't know. I wore it to a funeral. <laughs> so we took us down from 41 to 30, 36. One more, let's get to 35 even. I think that's, I think that's like a really good number, 35 even. Um, this is like way harder than I thought it would be. Okay, I'm gonna do this dress. And I've only worn it a couple times, but it's shorter on me. I have other floor hole dresses that I like more. And I can't give this dress away and I have to get to 35. So I don't have to, I want to. So, okay, done. Done, we're done, we did it. 35 dresses, and this is now every dress in my wardrobe. We did it. So if you look at the B-roll here, you can see the 40 dresses that made it through. Um, I will say in the end, it was kind of hard separating with those last couple dresses, but what helped me is I know that they're going to someone that needs them far more than I do. So even though I'm sad to have lost some pieces that I really love, I know that they're gonna be in the hands of someone who will love them just as much. I dropped my phone. <laughs> Oops. Um, we are still working with charities to figure out where they're gonna go because we wanna make sure that they go to the right place that needs the items now. So we're looking at things like prom just passed. I wish we would have done it a little earlier. So we're looking for schools, like for homecoming closets, just formal dress closets for all of that stuff. And then we're looking at um, some of the charities we work with in Austin for women, for some of the work clothes and some of the dresses that would be like summer dresses. So we'll get that all sorted, get that all donated. Now, what I will say is I am 99.9% .9 certain that many of you will comment on this video saying, I would love to buy that dress. And I would love to know down in the comments if for like holiday season, if we did this again and we sold some of the items and then use the, the money we make from that to donate to charity, if you guys would be interested in that because we've never done that before. <laughs> and even, even saying it outside, <laughs> saying it out loud makes me very stressed because it would be a little bit to execute, but we could pull it off. Let me know down below because we could definitely use purging on other things in our closet beyond dressing. Wait, dressing. It's like salad dressing. I'm tired, guys. I didn't sleep very well last night, <laughs> so everything's messed up. And why do I say we? It's just me and my dog. When I say we, it's me and Data. It's not like there's another person that lives here. It's not like I have multiple personalities. It's literally me and my dog. I heard my dog is like my platonic life partner. <laughs> I'm like a cat lady, but just with a dog. And I'm okay with that, honestly. It's a good life. I'm not gonna complain. But what I was gonna say is we have a lot more to get rid of in my closet than just dresses. And so we've only done dresses and frankly, I'm gonna need a little bit before we do anything else because trying on this many dresses was exhausting. It was so tiring, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I feel very naughty because right behind me is this dress that <laughs> I did not try on because it was up here. Actually, there's two dresses, this one and this one. So, um, good thing I took a couple extra things out because uh, I'm definitely keeping these. Uh, now, I've gone to a ton of work, like a ton of work to link similar items to everything I showed in this video down below. It is probably my largest list of dresses I've ever done. Um, so if you are interested in something that was in this video, I did find something similar to it. I did have to give it like a shorter name because of character limits. So if you need any help finding it, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help. But thank you so much for watching this crazy video. I don't know what I was thinking when I, when I decided we should do this, but here we are. We did it, me and Data. Oh, and John. John, I guess, counts as part of the we. I guess that's not that weird to say it. But yeah, we did it, and I'm kind of proud of myself. And it just goes to show, when you clean out your closet, give yourself a goal, because it holds you accountable, right? It forces you to purge. Otherwise, you will come up with a reason to keep everything. And trust me, there, there were several times where <laughs> I, after I put it on the donate pile, went back and I was like, but like, what if I need this? 
like why do I need this? Like there was that one uh, dress that I saved for interviews. I literally had to like multiple times put it back because I hung it up even after I said I was gonna donate it because I was like I, I still might need it and. We put on our big girl pants and we donated it. Well, we got it prepped for donating. We don't have it donated yet, but we will get it. Trust me, it's got, it's got to go. <laughs> so with that guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know if you wanna see it again, like I said before. And with that, have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace. They're not gonna know. <laughs> Look. <laughs> The things I hide in cabinets and drawers are really atrocious. <laughs> My life looks clean, but really it's all like that underneath the veneer. <laughs>